France deploys army, bans TikTok in riot hit New Caledonia, PM. This post received a score of 5,500, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Entire article. Interesting. Why are they rioting? Why ban TikTok in particular? New Caledonia has a deep colonial background that goes back to 1853, seized by France which marginalized indigenous Kanak people and used the territory as a penal colony until the 1910s. 1980s, violence erupts between pro-independence Kanaks and the rest of the population, New Caledonia is in a state of quasi-civil war. 1988, Prime Minister Michel Rocard reaches an agreement with pro- and anti-independence parties that sets up a path to decolonization by promising a referendum and special local institutions with restricted voting rights in order to calm things down. Kanaks are asking to delay it by a few months in order to have mourning rituals for victims of COVID-19, but Macron refuses. I think you're largely correct other than the percentage of nickel resources. According to the Canadian government they have the fourth most confirmed reserves, but nowhere near one-third of global nickel. Edit. Adding the link. Thank you, I read this number a while ago so I wrote it without bothering to check. Actually, Wikipedia mentions both 10% and 30% of global reserves with reliable sources, so I don't really know which number is correct. Still, I think the point stands about the importance of the sector for the local economy. Three votes were held in 2018, 2020, and 2021, all returned defeats for independence, but the 2021 vote was particularly contentious due to it being boycotted by pro-independence forces. The 2021 vote was boycotted, according to Kanak independence groups, due to Kanak cultural traditions around mourning periods and the ongoing pandemic. The prior votes both rejected independence but saw an increase in independence support between 2018 and 2020. The latest rioting is to do with a change to the law that would allow recent migrants to the island to vote in the elections, which would dilute the voting powers of indigenous Kanak significantly. I grew up there and still have family in the country. Can confirm your summary is correct. I'll add that for now it's unclear how much of the rioting is organized vs just bands of delinquents just taking the opportunity to lash out, maybe encouraged by some political parties. Most perpetrators seem to be between 15 and 25 and there's been a lot of looting and senseless property destruction. Countless supermarkets and businesses have been burned to the ground, and public utilities such as water pipes destroyed for seemingly no reason. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.